In this last video on conservation momentum, we want to look at some mixed momentum problems where we'll have some problems of all the different types and also problems that can be solved with multiple different solutions. Just like in the last video, to receive credit for the notes for this video, I'd like you to set up your paper so that you have space for the problem and two boxes, one for you to do the problem one for my explanation. Try the problem yourself and then any corrections for my explanation in the other box. So what you want to do is press pause before the problem once you've read the problem and then write do the work yourself and then press play and check with my answer. You need to turn in your notes in this sort of format to receive credit. While being thrown from rest, a net force of 132 newtons acts on a baseball for point for five seconds. What is the final velocity of the baseball? We want to use impulse and momentum. So we've got F delta T equals change in momentum. We know change in momentum is mass times velocity final, mass times velocity initial. In this case, we have 132 newtons acting 0.045 seconds. Baseball has a mass of 0 0.140. We're looking for its final velocity. It has a mass of 0 0.140, and its original velocity is zero. So we'll do 132 times 0 0.045, which gives us 5.94, equals 0 0.140 V final. So V final will be 42.4 meters per second. So this is an impulse momentum problem. We have one object, we don't have a collision or an explosion taking place, so we're not dealing with conservation of momentum. Okay, this next problem is the exact same problem, but now we want to solve it using Newton's laws. So in this case, we want to use F net equals MA we can use V final equals V initial plus AT. So we'll start 132 equals 0.140 A. 132 divided by 0 0.140, which is an acceleration of 943 meters per second. Now we can solve for V final equals zero. 943 times 0 0.045, and we get 42.5 meters per second. So the same problem, one using the equations we've used previously in the course, previous version, just a rounding difference. We get the same answer. Now we've used Newton's laws versus impulse momentum. If the problem specifies which one you must use, you should do the one that's specified. Otherwise, you can use either method. In this next problem, we're looking at a pair skating competition. An 85 kilogram male skater is initially carrying his partner. Together, they have a mass of 130 kilograms. They are moving forward with a velocity of 2.5 meters per second. If the male skater then throws his partner forward at 3.5 meters per second, find the velocity of the male skater after he throws his partner. So we have two objects that are stuck together, separating into one, or one object. In this problem, we have the two skaters together, and we, they're going to separate into two individual objects. So this is all basically the reverse of an inelastic collision. We have the two objects together. So the mass is added together times V initial equals the mass of object one times the final velocity, mass of object two times final velocity. This is just the reverse of an inelastic collision problem. So we have 130 equals 2.5. We have the male skater, 85, V final one. We have the female skater, 
is 45 kilograms, 130 minus 85 is going to travel at 3.5. So 130 times 2.5, we get 325 equals 85, the final one, plus 45 times 3.5, which is 157.5. Subtract 157.5 from both sides, we get 167.5 equals 85, the final one. Divide by 85, and this skater ends up moving at a slower speed of 1.97 meters per second. Okay, the next problem. Each croquet ball in a set has a mass of 0.5 kilograms. The green ball, which is traveling at 12 meters per second, strikes the blue ball, which is at rest. Assuming that all the collisions are head-on, find the speed of the blue ball if the green ball continues moving after the collision at 2.4 meters per second in the same direction. So here we have an elastic collision. M1, the initial one. M2, the initial two equals M1, the final one, M2, the final two. So 0 0.5 times 12, 0.5 times 0, 0.5 times 2.4, plus 0.5 times V final two. So we get 6 plus 0 equals 1.2, plus 5v final 2. So we have 6 equal, plus 0 equals 1.2 plus 5v final 2. So subtract 1.2 from both sides and we get 4.8 equals 0.5v final 2. Divide both sides by 0.5 and we get 9.6 equals v final 2. Okay, another problem. An 85 kilogram fisherman jumps from a dock into a 135 kilogram rowboat at rest on the west side of the dock. The velocity of the fisherman is 4.30 meters per second to the west. As he leaves the dock, what is the final velocity of the fisherman in the boat? So this will be an inelastic collision problem. M1, the initial one. M2, the initial two. They stick together and move together, so we'll do inelastic collision. 85 times 4.3 plus 135 times 0 equals 85 plus 135 times V final. So the total mass is 220. This is 0. This is 365.5. So 365.5 equals 220V final. Divide by 220. And we get 1.66 meters per second. Okay, so there's a number of examples of various impulse momentum problems. Please bring your notes to class to be checked in class.